radius of the interface radius of the interface when two soap bubbles when two soap bubbles of different radii are in contact we have to find the expression of radius of interface when two soap bubbles of different radii are in contact this are two soap bubbles having different radii which are in contact which are in contact now r1 is the radius of the smaller soap bubble and r2 is the radius of this larger soap bubble p1 and p2 are the pressure acting on the inner surface of the smaller and larger soap bubble this is the large soap bubble having radius r2 and this is the small soap bubble this is the small soap bubble uh, having radius r1 and p1 is the pressure acting on the inner surface of this small soap bubble small soap bubble and we can denote the interface we can denote the interface of the two soap bubbles which are in contact this is the interface this is the interface of the two small uh, two soap bubbles having radii r1 and r2 so this is the interface and pressure acting on the inner surface of the small soap bubble is p1 p1 is equal to 4s divided by r1 p1 is equal to 4s divided by r1 that is the excess pressure that is the excess pressure acting inside acting inside the small soap bubble of radius r1 p1 is equal to 4s by r1 which is the excess pressure inside the small soap bubble of radius r2 r1 and similarly p2 is equal to 4s divided by r2 p2 is equal to 4s divided by r2 which is the excess pressure ex acting inside the large soap bubble of radius r2 p2 is equal to 4s divided by r2 which is the excess pressure inside the large soap bubble of radius r2 as r1 less than r2 radius of small soap bubble is less than the radius of large soap bubble that's why p1 is greater than p2 as p1 is greater than p2 hence hence the interface as p1 is greater than p2 that's why the interface will have will have curvature will have curvature same as a smaller soap bubble as the pressure acting inside the small soap bubble is greater than the pressure acting inside the large soap bubble that's why the interface will have the same curvature identical to the smaller soap bubble or to the small soap bubble now we can denote the radius of the interface now we can denote the radius of the interface r is the radius of the interface of two soap, two soap bubbles which are in contact net excess pressure net excess pressure acting on the interface net excess pressure acting on the interface is p which will be equal to p1 minus p2 as p1 greater than p2 that's why net excess pressure will be p which will be p1 minus p2 as p1 greater than p2 therefore p is equal to 4s by r1 minus 4s by r2 p is equal to 4s divided by r1 minus 4s divided by r2 also for p is equal to 4s by r where r is the radius of the interface p is equal to 4s by r which is a excess pressure inside the interface or excess pressure acting on the interface acting on the interface or acting on the common surface that is the surface in contact surface in contact of the two soap bubbles p is equal to 4s by r which is excess pressure on the interface therefore 4s by r equal to 4s by r1 minus 4s by r2 therefore r equal to r1 r2 divided by r2 minus r1 r is equal to r1 r2 divided by r2 minus r1 which is the radius of the interface r is equal to r1 r2 divided by r2 minus r1 which is the radius of the interface radius of the interface of the two soap bubbles which are in contact r is equal to r1 r2 divided by r2 minus r1 which is the radius of the interface when the two soap bubbles of different radii are in contact two soap bubbles of different radii are in 
कॉन्टैक्ट